And okay, so there we go. Uh, if you like to get the base file, it is available on our website, shop.hsinc365.com. That's also where you're going to find our submission ink, submission paper. Uh, for me, I use the rolls whenever I'm doing stoles because I can do one long print. If you don't know, with the Epson um, desktop printers, you can print up to 47 inches long. If you have like the 8550, you actually can do 78 inches long. So that I don't have the gaps so, or, you know, potentially have a line of demarcation where you're taping papers together. I use my rolls for um, the graduation stoles. It just makes it so, so, so much easier. Um, if you have a 13 inch wide printer, you actually can put both sides on one sheet of paper when you go. Well, one long sheet of paper when you go to print it out. OK, so the rolls of summation paper eight and a half and 13 are both available on our website, shop.hsinc365.com, as well as the graduation stole templates. Just go to search, type in stole or you can go to HS or you can go to the HS Inc. digital um, uh, menu at the top and you're going to choose 60 or well, 70 or 60. So the sixes are pretty like standard, but um, I guess what a lot of people have an issue with like the 70 because some are being made more like seven. Well, they're actually 72 and not 70 and ours is made for um, 70 inch stoles. Now, when you're looking at ours, if you have one that is a stole that is just straight, if you have the one where it's not the point and it's just a straight line, this template will not work for it. I have, um, I don't really use the ones that are straight, so I don't have a template for that one. And the one that's cut off, I had one, but I can't, I meant to make a template of that one because I had one um, that someone else gave me, but I haven't had a chance to make one of those. So ours is for the one that is tapered around the neck and it has a point on the end. Our templates come with just the standard like basic one where you're just going to flood the whole thing with color. Then you have a full trim. So if you wanted it to have a colored trim all the way around and have it be even um, around it, you can do that one. And then this one is just the edge. So the bottom part doesn't have it, um, doesn't have that trim. It'll just be the sides, okay? Um, so... I'm going to show you guys how to extend this if you need to. So this is the one for the trimmed edge. I'm going to break this down and show you how it is set up so that you'll understand how to um, how to extend it. It's basically going to be offsetting some subtracting and cropping. So this right here is sitting right on top. All right. So that's your trim. Inside this area from this blue line, which I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. This dash line is actually the edge of the stole. This right here is your bleed area, okay? So that's your bleed. We're going to line these two back up. Okay, so this here will never really show on your stole. Then you have, um, well, dang it, why is this like this? Okay, let's just go like this and align this to the top just so that it's back to where it should be, okay? So again, this dashed one is your edge. This is the trim. So the part that you will actually see on the stole is only what's between here and here. This is just your bleed. So you can fill that with a solid color or patterns or glitter patterns or whatever it is you want to fill the edge with. And then of course in here, um, you want to just take note. I'm gonna bring this to the front. Well, let's see, where are you? Oh, well, it's there, you just can't see it. So I'm gonna change the color on that. So this just shows you where the edge is. So if you, and this right here again is the bleed area. So you have to be mindful of that. So if you're wanting to extend this because yours is a little bit longer, what you're going to do is um, do an offset of the template. So if like you have to measure yours, I don't know exactly what yours is gonna be. So from here to from side to side for this one, it is about 4.75. I mean, it's supposed to be somewhere around there. Now, if yours is wider and let's say that it's five, you're going to have to make that adjustment. 
So I'm going to click on the internal one and I'm going to go to, I'm um, sorry, offset and I'm going to go um, offset on here. Okay. For now, I'm just going to hit apply and I'm going to change the color on this just so you can see. And this from edge to edge now is about, it's right at about five. So if that's what yours is. You need a little bit more space, then you can do that. If you need it more, you're just going to extend your offset by a little bit more. If, and whatever you extend this offset by, make sure that the other one is like the next one is also the same. So that was default. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to click back on this one and I'm going to go offset. The default is 0.125. I'm going to make it um, 0.1. Let's just say 0.1. Now you have to be very careful with this because the bigger you make it, and if you are putting your design like um, on there and it's bigger, you might end up cutting off more. So try and get it as, try and make your distance as close to the correct number as you need to where it makes it like that width again, because that is your actual edge. So let's just say point, I said point it was originally 0 0.125. Let's just go 0 0.135. Okay. Just to give myself a little bit more room and apply. Um, oops, what happened with that? Cancel. Undo. I did the wrong one. All right. Undo. All right. What's taking so long here? Okay. There we go. So make, I have to make sure that I click on this line right here, which I'm going to change the color to make sure that I do have the one that I want it to change. So there we go. I'm changing that color. I'm going to go offset and I'm going to make that 0.135. Okay. Gonna doesn't matter if it's rounded or corner because the end of it is rounded anyway. And we're gonna hit apply. So I'm gonna change this color. Um, let me get something you guys can see. Let's just make it red. And I'm going to delete the blue one. That was the original one. Now, this outside one, that is the full bleed. I'm gonna do an offset of the exact same distance. So offset 0.135, okay, and apply. Now from edge to edge, um, it is 5.863 in this case, but that should be enough. If you need more, again, you're just going to adjust your uh, outline by that amount, okay? I'm going to fill this in with color just so that we see that's our original. I mean, that's the offset. This right here is the original one. But we now need to have this part extend out. Now, you can either simply move these to the outside so that you still have the same amount of trim. So if I, I'm going to go on here and I'm going to release compound path. I'm then going to click on the outside. I'm going to click on this piece here, which I'm going to change the color. So this one right here, okay? Hold down shift, click on the other yellow and tell it to align to the right. Okay. And then on this one, which I'm going to change the color so you can see, I'm changing that one. Okay, that's what I'm selecting. Hold down shift, I'm gonna click on the yellow and I'm going to align that to the left. So now it will give me that trim, okay? Now I may have to extend it here at the top because it comes up a little bit more. Um, this one right here, we really don't need because that's just the, um, I think this is, let's see. Yeah, that is the, the original bleed. We don't need that one, so we're going to delete that. All right. And this up here, it should be bleed, so it shouldn't matter. But if you want to extend it up, just uh, double click to bring up your edit points. Hold down shift, drag and select over those top edit points only. Let go of shift and your mouse and use the arrow keys on your keyboard to extend that up. So again, I'm going to show you again on this side, we're going to double click to bring up our edit points, hold down shift, 
drag and select over the top points, let go of shift and your mouse, and then just extend that up some, just so that you know you account for the bleed area. Now you would go in and design it the regular way that you would. So you would fill in your colors, add your text, add your images. This is not a design class. This is only showing how to extend the template. Um, hopefully my videos have helped you understanding like diff different design elements and then you'll just put pull, pull them all in. But what I will do is click on the two um, trims, go ahead and group or make it a compound path. It doesn't matter which one you do. I'm just gonna make them both the same color and we'll just make this black, okay? Remember that as long as there is um, the number zero here, none of your lines will print. So you can leave those lines there and as long as you're printing directly from Silhouette Studio, if you're gonna save it as a JPEG or a PNG, you do want to turn those lines off because they will show up when you save it. But now you can go ahead and design it. For the other side, instead of doing this again, you're just going to select the whole thing, right click, I'm sorry, well, let's just go over here. Go over here to, it looks like a little bug, that's your replicate window, and then just mirror to the right. And now you have the other side. So you don't have to do that to both sides. So that's the one that's just the trim. Now I'm going to go over to the one that is the full trim. All right. So I'm going to take this and make a duplicate. Kind of the same thing, but not quite. The way that this one is set up, I'm going to make a duplicate. I'm going to change the colors. You have the inside and then you have the trim, okay? It's just an outline because I've already gone through and cut everything up and all that stuff. So what you're gonna have to do is, ex like you're gonna have to close off the top of this uh, trim. So I'm gonna change that one. So this piece here, we have to close off. How you do that is you're just going to take a polygon so it's the line tool. You're going to go right here is draw a polygon. You're going to put your mouse right here at the tip, come over to the other side and go up. And you're just making a little box here. You just have to make sure that it does overlap. So I'm going to bring this to the front, which mine doesn't overlap on this side. So I'm going to double click and bring this up and just to right there. I just need a little bit of overlap, okay? Once we have that overlapped, we're gonna click on that piece we just created, hold down shift, click on the edge and then weld it. Okay, so that's gonna make that one big piece, all right? You're then gonna take that piece, right click. I'm gonna actually change the color of this so that you can see it better, all right? We're gonna right click and release compound path. What that's going to do is give us our middle section because we need to know where to uh, cut it off so that we still have the trim. So this is a separate piece now. All right. I'm going to take this one. And we're going to double click on it. Hold down shift, select these two top nodes, or if you have more at the top, select however many you have at the top and hit delete point. That way it just flattens back out, okay? Now we're going to do our offsets. All right, we're going, I'm gonna send this to the back only so that you can see, this is the original. This is the original, um, this right here is the original, um, what's what I'm looking for? Oh gosh, um, edge of the stole. There we go, I, I had a whole brain freeze. Um, so now we're gonna take this piece and we're going to extend it. So I'm gonna go over here to the offset window. I'm gonna go offset. And we're gonna do this in the same way. Let's just go 0.135 to give myself a little bit more space and apply. Now with the 72 and 72, your each side should be about 36. So this is, I probably should, I can probably go a little bit um, higher because this is actually what that stole is gonna be. It's actually gonna be about 36. So I want to, um, 
let's see with this one I know I'm not like a lot of off, a lot a lot of um overlap all right so what we're gonna do uh let's take all right so I'm gonna delete this one this right here which why do I have two it's actually this one right here. Okay, so that is also the edge of the stole. Right now, that one is like 35.596, right? So that's the edge. We want to extend that one. So we're going to go offset. And we're going to take that up until it's um, 36 and then some. So 0 0.15. And I'm going to hit enter. So I'm still not there. So let's go 0 0.2. All right. So 0 0.3. All right. I like that maybe a little bit more. So I'm going to go 0.325. All right, so that gives me about um, a quarter of an inch on each side. Um, I can go up a little bit more if I wanted to, but I mean, that's like that's up to you. Like if you want to go up and give yourself a little bit more space, but remember, this is the original size. So if it's only, you know what, let's go back. Because if it's only the original, we really want that to be closer to it. So I think I end up going, let's go offset, and it should be 0.25 gives us about 36. So that works. So 0.25 gives us about 36 because we're still going to do the bleed, and we're going to hit apply. All right. So that one, I'm just going to change the color. I like to change color so I know what's what. This is the original. I don't need that. I'm going to delete that. This is now the new edge of the stall. We're going to go over to offset and we're going to offset that by however, like, however, like, uh, why do you want your bleed to be? All right. So let's make all of this red. I'm going to click on the blue, which is now my new template. I don't need this outline right here. I'm going to offset it. And if I wanted that outline or that offset to be 0.25, I hit 0.25 and then hit enter. Okay, so that gives me that extra space. If you want it to be 0.5, you can have that. That is totally up to you in how wide that offset is. Okay, um, so I'm going to leave mine at 0.25 and I'm going to hit apply. This is now your bleed area. I'm going to make this a different color so you can see this right here. This orange represents the trim. If you want it to stay at the original, you leave it as is. And all you're going to do is take these two nodes and extend them up. Okay. Extend it up past um, like right to the edge. Okay. What you're going to do with this is click on that and the back piece. So I'm going to bring this to the front just so you guys can see. So it kind of looks like how it's supposed to already, but we don't want to have another layer that we have to um, that we have to design on. So we're going to hold down. We're going to select both of those, go over to modify and subtract all. What this does is it makes this where there's like a little, like it's a cutout there, okay? Um, and that makes, that ensures that you won't move something to the front and you won't be able to see it and all that kind of good jazz. So we're going to take them both and send them to the back. Now this piece right here should not have any color in it. This is just your edge. We're going to delete that. What this one right here, it just tells you where the edge of your stole is is to make sure that anything that you you absolutely want on the stole does not get cut off that's the only thing that that represents um which in this case it doesn't really matter because it is a it's a full trim so you're going to put everything in here anyway so it definitely won't get cut off because you're going to have a trim on it 
So you can do it this way with the original trim. If you want your trim to be just a little bit larger, you're gonna click on the trim, which I'm gonna change color so you can see what I'm selecting. And you're going to do an offset and just make it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna make that one a corner point. Um, I'm gonna make this one maybe 0.15, okay? So it's gonna make that trim area a little bit thinner. And we're gonna hit apply. I, again, like to fill things with color. This one in the, on the top, I'm going to delete. This one right here, which is the original, um, like the original or the edge of the, the new size stole, we don't really need that either. This part right in here is where you will, um, actually, no, I'm sorry. I deleted the wrong part on both. We never want to have just this piece, like how it is here, because if it moves, then guess what? It's going to, like you're gonna see a gap. So we actually don't want to remove that. Um, so what you'll do is you'll cut it off, but then you'll send the original one to the back and that's where you'll start to fill in like your background colors and things like that. So this one here, we're gonna double click click on these top nodes. So one, two, and three. I'm gonna drag them up right there to the edge. Actually, I can delete that one. Okay, so it comes right to the edge. We're gonna click on We're gonna click on this top one and the offset. So the, in this case, my yellow one. Hold down shift, click on that, and we're going to go to modify. And we actually can just hit subtract, all right? Because we don't really need that part. This piece, we're going to send it to the back. I'm gonna delete this one and extend this up right to the edge. So now when you are designing, this becomes the main color of your stall. And then this is your trim. And with this, because it's the full, it goes across the whole thing. If it moves around, you happen to move it while you are putting things in. It's not going to be that much, uh, like it's not going to be that bad. Whereas with this one, because I leave the wrong one, like it has to stay just like this. So you may end up having to do the outline, do the middle, and then group them together to make sure that there is no gap if you do it this way. But my recommendation is to not, when you watch this back, watch this through first, not do how I did here and I deleted the, the, the original outline or the stole edge. Keep that one and just send it to the back like I did this one. All right. So that's how you can extend it. If it's the one that is just, um, it's just the plain trim, all you have to do is put an offset on it and extend that out. Um, whatever size you need it to be, just put an offset if it's that one. It's just the ones that have the trim are the ones that you have to do a little bit more to it um, in order to have that work perfectly for your stole, okay? Um, so yeah, that's how you would extend that. So offsetting, a little bit of point editing, um, on one of them, a little bit of welding and subtracting, and on the other one, it is a little bit of, I think I did subtracting on that one. So just what I recommend watching it through, taking down notes, and then going back to um, attempt it so that you kind of get it in your head and see the process and then go in and try and change yours versus trying to do it as I'm doing it. And it's your first time watching this video. But hopefully this video not only helps you modify the stole to fit the substrate that you have, but it also helps understanding some of those, helps you with understanding some of those tools like offset and um, um, 
subtracting and subtract all using things like your polygon and welding. So whenever you're doing things like this, all, not, don't look at it just for the project at hand. Think about the tools and the different ways that they can be used when it comes to setting up your designs and or templates in Silhouette Studio. But again, hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. Until next time, have a great one. Continue to unlock your creativity and be incredible. Peace.